Oh, I see you finally evolved. Yeah, look at my abs. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at these muscles. Look, ah. Yeah, that's cool and all, my champ, but look at my back. I have freaking cannons now. Yeah, that is awesome, Blastoise, but is your skin made out of metal? Because look at me. I'm freaking shiny as f***. Hey, guys. Notice anything different? Not really. What what happened? I evolved, guys. Stop joking around. What, what did you exactly evolve into? Guys, the stick? I got a bigger stick. I evolved, okay? <sighs> f*** you guys. What is going on guys, this is Dobbs here, bringing you another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm gonna go over 10 Pokemon that I think deserve evolutions. And just a disclaimer before I start this video, cause I can already see the comments coming in saying, You're a f***ing idiot. If you actually looked at their stats, you would know that they shouldn't evolve. Kill yourself, kid. F*** you. You piece of Yeah. So, here's the disclaimer guys. These Pokemon are gonna be picked by appearance. This is just gonna be a fun video. It's all gonna be opinions. It's just gonna be Pokemon that I wanna see evolve. Pokemon who I think that need a final evolution or a baby evolution. So yeah, if you're like a hardcore Pokemon competitor who's all about stats and all that, this video might not be for you. So with that out of the way, I wanna start with Pokemon who didn't make the list. Because literally, these Pokemon are probably gonna be in every single list you ever see about this type of video. And that is Lovedis, Dunsparce, Farfetch, Delibird, and Shuckle. So just briefly, I'm going to go over each one of them. So with Lovedis, they should just make it official. Make Lovedis evolve into Alolomola. I mean, like, come on, this is the Alola region. So bring Lovedis to Alola to evolve it into Alolomola. And also give it the fairy type. So moving on to Dunsparce, make it evolve into a dragon and give it the dragon type. That's it. That's all we want. For Delibird, I don't know, I think he's a good standalone Pokemon, but if you think he should evolve, what do you think he should evolve into? Be sure to leave it down in the comments below. Okay, so I have a little funny story about Farfetch'd. In Pokemon Crystal, I literally thought Farfetch evolved into Duduo. I got that Farfetch'd to level 100 to just find out that he didn't evolve into Duduo. I wasted so much time on that Farfetch. So yes, give him an evolution, make him into an epic bird or something. With Shuckle, I don't think he should get an evolution. He is the strongest Pokemon of all time, you know. And if you don't know how, watch this video right here. It will literally blow your mind. So with those out of the way, let's get started with the 10 Pokemon that I think should get evolutions. Number one being my most wanted. So without further ado, let's get started. For number 10, I chose Buneary and Bonalby. Now I'm honestly shocked that these two Pokemon aren't related in any way. Buneary seems like a more feminine Pokemon, while Bunnelby seems more like a masculine Pokemon. So what I think should happen is, there should be a baby rabbit Pokemon introduced that could evolve into either of them. And the fact that would determine what it evolves into would be whether it's a boy or a girl. So let's say it gets like level 10. If it's a boy, it would evolve into Bunnelby. If it's a girl, it would evolve into Burnery. And the typing would be a pure normal type. For number 9, I chose a baby Scyther. Now let's face it, a baby Scyther would be the cutest thing ever. With undeveloped blades and undeveloped wings, it would definitely rank in the top 5 cutest baby Pokemon. And the reason I chose a baby Scyther, if any of you guys play Pokemon Stadium 2 Little Cup, the last trainer, the Poke fan, he had a Scyther that was almost unbeatable. Like if he brought out his Scyther, it's game over. It, that's it. So for that sole reason, I think there should be a baby Scyther. And along with that, Scyther just seems like a more developed Pokemon. And as for the typing, I think he should be a pure bug type. For number 8, I chose Cofagrigus. Cofagrigus reminds me of like Shellgon or Pupitar. Just a Pokemon who's hiding its potential. It's just waiting to come out like a Silomance or a Tyrantitar. Sort of like a cocoon, if that makes any sense. So what I would like to see with its final evolution would be like a feral ghost like seeping out of it. I think that would be just awesome. And as for the typing, it would stay as a pure ghost type. For number 7, I chose Corsola. To be completely honest, I think Corsola has the most potential for getting an evolution. I'm not sure why, but it just looks like it should have an evolution line. For some reason, Corsola reminds me of Tokubi. I could definitely see Corsola's final evolution showing some resemblance to Tokugis. Being like a winged creature of some sort, not necessarily learning fly or anything, but looking more like this concept art I found. And I think it should evolve the same way Tokubi does, through friendship and then through a shiny stone. And as for the typing, I think it should stay as a rock water type. 
For number six, I chose unknown. Now I didn't come up with this idea, but I think it's really cool. So in order to evolve unknown, you have to catch all the different types of unknown, but I'm adding a twist to it. In order to actually evolve it, you need to put all the different types of unknown in the same box in the PC. And then a little animation will happen, then the unknowns will evolve into the ruins of Alf, revealing all the secrets about the unknown. And for the typing, I think it should be a ghost psychic type. For number five, I chose Druddagon. I was shocked that Druddagon didn't have any evolutions. Because to me, Druddagon looks like the second evolved form of an evolution line. Because his wings aren't really fully developed in my opinion, and the redness on his head looks like it's about to spread all over his body or something. He just doesn't seem complete to me. So what I think should happen is, he should get a baby form and a final evolution. And as for the typing for the baby form and the final evolution, I think they should remain dragon. Because he just looks like a dragon, like he looks like the definition of what a dragon should look like. Sorry Dragonite. For number 4, I chose Tropius. Tropius just seems like a final evolution Pokemon. He looks like he deserves a mega evolution if anything, but I think he should have a baby form and a mid evolution form. The baby Tropius could be like a coconut with legs and a head coming out of it, and with like little leaves coming out of it, like that would be really cute. And that would be very tropical. It would work perfectly for the Alola region. And as for the middle evolution, it would just be like a smaller version of Tropius with like undeveloped bananas growing out of it, and almost fully developed wings. And so for the typings, I think the first two evolutions should remain grass type, and then when he gets a Tropius, it adopts a flying type just to make it exciting for the final evolution for number three I chose Skarmory Skarmory just looks like a Pokemon who should have a baby form because a baby Skarmory would be the cutest thing in the freaking world probably cuter than the baby Scyther but there could be another way for a baby Skarmory it could be just a regular bird but if you level it up with a metal coat it would evolve into Skarmory but if you don't level it up with a metal coat it would evolve into another bird Pokemon but if I had to choose I would choose the baby metal bird because I think that would just be so cute and as for the typing I think it would remain as a steel flying type for number two, I chose Kangaskhan. Like, come on, this has been a problem since generation one. A Kangaskhan coming out of an egg with a baby in its pouch? That makes no sense. I think it's time to give it a baby evolution. And along with that, maybe a male version, which would be kind of cool because the male version would have a different mega evolution, which would be a really fun concept. And as for the typing, it would stay as a normal type. And so for my most wanted Pokemon to get an evolution is, well, there's two of them. I want Tauros and Miltank. And just hear me out. Now, I think a baby cow linking Miltank and Tauros would just be an awesome inclusion. Tauros being the offensive cow and Miltank being the defensive cow. Now, there could be two ways to evolve this baby cow into Tauros or Miltank. The generic way would be if it's a male or female, but I think it could be more interesting. It could be like Tyrogue. If its attack stat is higher than its defensive stat, it evolves into Tauros. If its defensive stat is higher than its attack stat, it would evolve into Miltank. So yeah, I think that'd be a very fun Pokemon to have. And for its typing, it would just be a normal type, but maybe give Mega Evolutions to Tauros and Miltank and have them adopt a new typing. So yeah, those are my top 10 most wanted Pokemon evolutions. I hope you guys liked the video, leave a like if you did, and also be sure to subscribe for enjoying the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter for fan interactions, video updates, and other cool stuff, follow me at Ethan Dobbs. And for the question of the day, which Pokemon do you think deserves an evolution? Leave it down below in the comments, I can't wait to see what you guys have in mind. And I'll see y'all next time. See ya.